how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Shin Godzilla, kind of like his upper half of his body. Um, it's going to be simple, easy, completely for, I guess, beginners, um, but there is some difficulty in it, so I, I would say more intermediate, I'll say. I'll, I'll retract that last one, but let's go in and go through it. All right, first thing I'm going to do here is draw the top of his head. Like here, he's going to be looking down. And he's got a relatively flat head. I'm just going to like wiggle my line as I go down here for everything. Because he's really bumpy all over. Down here. For the brow. Pulling forward here. Again, wiggling my line as I go down. Pulling down here, wiggling my line as I go down here. I'm going to go here and find the eye on our side. Like so. Circle. Dot in the middle of that circle. Pulling in. On this side, I'm going to kind of draw the you know bottom of the eye socket. And I'm going to fill that eye socket in around it. So here's this really deep set in eye. I'm going to go back here, find kind of the back of his mouth. And the first thing I'm going to do here is wiggle my line all the way down. Line up here, line up here. Curve over here for kind of the brow line. So I'm going to draw a straight line here, but a bunch of teeth. So I'm going to, well, actually I forgot. Let me draw the nasal cavity here. See, like a dot. But along here, I'm just going to draw a row of teeth. The difference between this, one of the differences between this Godzilla and the other one is that he has no lips. Uh, Godzilla, the, most of the other ones have lips. This guy, you just see his teeth sticking out, no lips. And it looks terrifying. You know, that's <laughs> a big part to his look. I think he's the scariest looking Godzilla by far. Gonna go over here under jaw. Pulling down here, still wiggling my line as I pull down. Curve up. And over here. Drawing a row of teeth down there as well. And it's gonna go in the back as well. Here, we're gonna tie it up. <laughs> gonna go over here, pulling a line down from the neck. Another one, it gets bigger as it goes down. Down over here. And it's gonna be going to the chest here. I'm gonna draw these, like a curved line right here up the neck, that cord of the neck, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of part of his look. Gonna go over here, draw his upper arm over there, down, his forearm here, pulling up, and he's got these bitty little hands. Almost like these really weird scarecrow like hands or something. I'm gonna put one coming, I'm gonna put uh, the other hand coming on this side. See, that's the forearm. Down here. <laughs> I'm gonna pull down the rest of the torso here. Let's go here to the back and his spikes. So, a lot of it, to me, to simplify it down, looks kind of like, I don't know, to me it kind of looks like plants. See, like that. And they're skinnier, by the way, the little, uh, they're getting bigger, though, but. The spikes themselves, in proportion to what they're stuck to, to me, looks skinnier. And then it just runs off the page over there. 
so he's too smooth right now. Right now, now you're gonna have to add all the craggly stuff, and that's gonna be thin lines. So I'm, I'm not putting as much weight on everything, right? I'm putting light weight, but I'm moving stuff around everywhere. back of his arm there, I forgot to put that. And then maybe a line here into the chest. And you can draw a line here for the top of his shoulder blade. But everything else right here is gonna be these little curves, right? These little curves and uh, you're trying to create a texture. So that's a big part of this. You really wanna try to create a texture here. And that is don't worry about it, it might take a little bit here, but just kind of put it randomly every, pretty much everywhere, I'm not gonna lie. Some places like the forearm here, you can just draw lines. Maybe lines across there. But everywhere else, it's literally he has this craggly texture all over him. And I'll be honest, that's gonna take a while. You don't have to put it everywhere, but you can put it like this, see? Like it's starting to create a texture. Like, I mean, put it everywhere, but I mean, you don't have to cover him like in a net of texture or anything like that. Because your mind will fill in the rest when you're doing this stuff. You can do it here on the spikes themselves a little bit. I can thicken a couple of lines here. <sighs> yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want, you can fill in um, it's gonna be hard to fill this one in because the spikes are the teeth are very jaggedy but you can kind of fill in there you go uh, if you want, you can also throw like a line underneath here. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can throw more darks here, actually. I forgot about that. Maybe here in the front, like underneath this area. Sometimes the darks will kind of anchor the entire drawing. Um, can even throw it on this far side here just a bit because the sun's coming from above so normally uh, the darks will be more toward uh, the bottom area I mean, like in the armpit stuff like that but uh, yeah thank you very much uh, like let me know what you think hit me up in the comments uh, and also yeah say hi if you can hear my voice right now stay tuned for the announcement see you later Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. 
but like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head, I have anime, I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month, like 30 days. That's a lot. Um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video, go down first link in the description, the very, very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days. Um, you just go over here, you click this thing, boom, and then you sign up. Um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later and uh, hopefully I'll see, I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're gonna see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're gonna see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome, and I'll see you next time.